Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. In this video we will talk about new releasing game called Woodering Waves. It's a very good game and I think I'll make some videos about it in the future and maybe start streaming it, but let's just start with this video. Woodering Waves is an upcoming free-to-play action role-playing game. Developed and published by the company Pura Game, it is set to release on May 23rd, 2024. Wuthering Waves was revealed on May 23rd, 2022 on Pura Games social media account. It was first announced for the iOS platform on March 25, 2024. The game underwent two closed beta tests, with the second concluding in March 2024. After the first closed beta test, the story content was largely reworked in response to player feedback that it felt uncomfortable. On March 29th, 2024, it was announced that Wuthering Waves was to be released on PC, iOS, Android, and the Epic Games Store on May 22, uh, 2024. Wuthering Waves is an action role-playing game set in futuristic fictional universe and compensating different realms. Developed by Kura Game Studio, players can experience a revolutionary combat experience and explore the massive open world of Wuthering Waves as soon as it is, it is scheduled to launch globally. Wuthering Waves is available as a free-to-play game on both Google Play Store and iOS App Store. The first task assigned to you as a new player is a fun and creative one. You get to choose your very own 3D sprite. Simply choose the gender from male or female and proceed to the next screen. Sadly, the character customization is not at all detailed. It, it's quite linear with limited changes. We cannot be sure as to how this will work in the future upon a global release, but as of the beta test, this area is quite limited in creativity. For those who are unaware, Wuthering Waves deploys an action combat system for players to release and enjoy. The controls are entirely manual and you cannot auto fight in any battle. Players manually control their characters via virtual joystick and have access to multiple unique abilities that they can deploy on the battlefield. Each character is unique and true strategy relies on which uh, character you bring alongside you in the missions. Each character has access to multiple combat attacks that can be in initiated via the use of virtual buttons of basic attack, dodge abilities and jump. Ultimate abilities are different from the normal ones, and they have full animated sequences and often provide players with more utility, be it in terms of DPS or any other criteria. An enemy, enemy's health is indicated by a bar that appears when you engage in combat with them. In order to swiftly eliminate the adversary, you should inflict damage on them by utilizing the design controls until their health bar runs out. You can easily deal massive damage to enemies with higher HP by using the Wooden Waves Elemental Reaction System when fighting them. Additionally, this will facilitate your interactions with the Wooden Waves Combat System. Some different systems are also present in the game that need to be understood truthfully. Uh, those include the Concerto Energy Bar that fills up each time your deployed character uses their skills or water lift. After Charging up to full, the Concerto Energy Bar lights up, including that your team is synergized. The characters that are not in the Concerto Energy field at this time will experience a resonant state once your energy reaches a certain threshold. You will be able to use the QTE to switch these characters to the field at this time, uh, thus a Concerto effect may eventually be triggered by it. It can both enchant your character's abilities and make your enemies weaker. Your battles may eventually become more fluid and visually appealing if you make the most of these features. As soon as you start your journey as a new player, you'll see missions that help you advance through the game to a considerable level. Since you are a novice with no prior game experience, the missions will guide you and assist you in understanding how the gameplay functions. You can unlock many locked features in the gameplay and achieve good progression by following the gameplay missions that are mentioned in the mission section of the main game screen or displayed on the left side of the screen. You'll be given a new mission once the current one is finished. A mission may instruct you to travel to the located location indicated on a map, or it may give you the task of killing a 
after the determination number of enemies. As you complete those missions, which serve as a guide to advance you to a slightly level gradually, to a significant level gradually, you will be able to comprehend every aspect of the gameplay. You can view every kind of mission that is available, including side and main missions from the missions menu on the main game screen. When you play the game, the main missions will be completed automatically. Nevertheless, when you click on a particular mission, you will be able to view information about the task at hand, including what needs to be done and the reward you will receive for finishing it. Accepting the mission and going to finish it up, uh, too, if you think you can handle the chosen task. A beginner also needs to learn how to assemble their battle squad. The edit team or formation menus will take you to the menu where you can edit your team. There you can design, designate, designate three characters to form a team. When assembling a team, you should realize how crucial it is to assign the strongest characters from the roster of available characters. This is because a team with more powerful characters has a higher combat power. You can add new characters to your roster by using the recruitment feature in the game. Not only can you rescue characters through the system, but you can also rescue weapons. In the recruitment system, a menu is displayed and each character has a certain chance of being rescued. You can either rescue it via single pull or a ten pull, depending on how much currency you have. We would advise you to review all the characters' abilities to determine uh, whether or not they will be useful to you before rescuing them and allocating specific resources to them. Playing with the Riggs Waves on a bigger screen of your PC on Epic Games Store will be best without worry worrying about battery drainage on mobile phone and smooth gameplay is highly recommended. And all in all, I think this game will be a very big game at least for a little while and I can't wait to play it and tell me in the comments below are you planning to play with the waves and for a bonus tell me which character which five star character will you choose at the beginning and that will be all for this video 